Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disneyland Paris and I am so excited. I can't wait to take you around the park and show you my favorite things. Like the rides here are amazing. They have a haunted mansion called the Phantom Manor and they even have a dragon sleeping under the castle. So I figured I'd come on out, make a video and share all my experiences with you. We're gonna ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful Disneyland Paris kind of day. Anywho's, Let's go do this. We are staying on property at Newport Bay Club. This is a beautiful Disney resort, just 10 minutes walking distance to uh, the parks. And I'll show you guys the room in the lobby later on in the video. Right now, I think I just wanna start making my way into the park. We have to cut through Disney Village and I'm just so excited. I really just, I can't wait to share all my experiences with you. This is going to be my fourth Disney resort in 2024. I've been to Tokyo Disney already, Disneyland in California, Walt Disney World in Florida, and here at Disneyland Paris now. And uh, we came in from London. We took the Eurostar over. So we only have three days at this resort, uh, but I'm excited. And Scotty's going to be joining up with me later. And he brought me a Powerline shirt. So Roosevelt is going to be uh, putting out Goofy Movie shirts soon, and I'm so excited. Uh, but today we're going to focus most on Disneyland. Uh, they have a second part here, uh, Walt Disney Studios, but I kind of want to show you everything in Disneyland first. Go ride the rides and then the fireworks show, the parade, the drone show. There's so many amazing things and I'm just so excited. I cannot believe we are here. And there she is, Sleeping Beauty Castle. Isn't she a beaut? Honestly, the last time I came to Disneyland Paris, I thought it was a once in a lifetime trip, but I can't believe I'm back. We're back again and I can't wait to show you all my favorite things like I said and also some of the things I didn't get to do last time. Disneyland Paris is definitely a small park, but they do it well. The rides are amazing, and honestly, I prefer some of the rides here like than their counterparts in other parts, like the Haunted Mansion, like I mentioned. They have the Phantom Manor, Big Thunder Mountain is way better here, and I think the theming in the lands are just exceptional. So, uh, you know, we're just gonna do a big wraparound, start in Frontierland and make ourselves all the way around uh, Disneyland Paris. If the wait times are long, they have two different options to pay to skip the lines. It's called Premier Access. One of them is unlimited. It's 90 euros and you're allowed to ride every single attraction and you can do it whenever you want. There's no set times. And then they have the uh, one access where you pay per ride. And that's kind of cool because it's like seven euros for like Indiana Jones and you go at 1045 and you have a little wiggle room and it looks like everything's like 16, seven, five, 5, 16, not too, honestly, I don't know which one we're going to do. I ended up getting the Unlimited Express because I want to make sure I get everything that I want to get done accomplished. And the best thing about that is there's no times. So you could just show up to any ride once and just ride it. And I think we're going to make our way to Big Thunder Mountain, my favorite ride here. I think a parade is starting right now. They're clearing Main Street. Ooh. A million splashes of color, a celebration of Disney history. Come and join us in just 10 minutes on Central Plaza with all your friends. I don't know how I get so lucky, but every time I walk into a park, usually there's a parade starting as soon as I get here, and I don't miss it, so I think we're just going to hang out here for a little bit. I could probably stay here all day and just stare at the castle, but like I said, I want to ride some rides, so I think we're going to make our way over to Frontierland for Big Thunder Mountain. And because I bought the Premier Access, the unlimited one, I just get to walk up and I don't have to wait in line or wait for a certain time. It's literally any time. 
as soon as you walk under this sign for Frontierland, you can see Big Thunder Mountain there. And let me tell you, this is something else of a ride. I was so used to riding all the other Big Thunders, and when I rode this the first time, it literally caught me off guard and I was screaming. Look at it! This version of Big Thunder Mountain is so much more thrilling than all the other ones, like I mentioned, and it's literally right out of the get-go. Like, you literally just fly out of the station, and I love it. And it looks like it's a 55-minute wait, so <laughs> I'm even happier now that I ended up buying it because this is a long, long queue. I don't know where the entrance is. Lightning Lane? Uh, Premier Access? Yeah. <laughs> the end of the street left. Oh, thank you. And... Bada bing! Perfect. Thank you! Oh boy. I best remove them. I think it's starting to rain too. I'm bald. <laughs> For Big Thunder Mountain, I always recommend the back row. Number 15. That's the way. is the way to start a day. Big Thunder Mountain was phenomenal. And there's that one part where you go into like a dark area and uh, on the other rides, I'm used to it just being like real quick, but like you're just going down a steep drop and it feel like you're in the darkness for like at least 20 seconds and I love it. While we're in uh, Frontierland, we might as well make our way up to the Phantom Manor next. Look at, there it is. Seriously, I love all these attractions. Doesn't it look so cool though? This is another ride that's just completely different than all the other Haunted Mansions out there. Scotty, this is your first Haunted Mansion. How excited, look at you are excited. <laughs> You're doing the Phantom Manor for your first Haunted Mansion. He's skipping. <laughs> 
It's crazy looking at Big Thunder Mountain from the steps of the Phantom Manor. It's literally its own island over there. Isn't that insane? You can almost see all of the park from here, even the top of the castle over there. Oh, we're going in. We're going in. It's strange and inquieting noises that you hear. The cameras flicker, the air is dead and still. It's that the phantom of the dead manifests. Welcome, curious friends. It is so nice to have guests. Come, I have more to show you. Entrez, brave mortel, et visitons ensemble ce fameux manoir, where you gaze upon the sweet innocence of youth. Kindness from all the way, make room for everyone. There is no turning back now. Kindly watch your Look at the bride up there. Does this need to snap or no? Oh no, they'll do it. The ghost will do it for you. Oh, the ghost then? <laughs> <laughs> right here uh, oh. Scotty we're taking home the bride <laughs> she asked me if I'd marry her would you? maybe <laughs> The Phantom Manor is so awesome. I love the animatronics and I love the uh, different scenes inside of it. And even seeing the Phantom, I think like the way he laughs, it kind of creeps me out a little bit. I just wish it was a little bit longer. I feel like the other rides are longer, but this one, I think it has uh, like a little bit of a better updated animatronics is one. And uh, I think the theming on the inside and around the queue, I think is a little bit better. But overall, I love the Phantom Manor. Now we gotta keep moving along. Maybe get something to eat, a little quick snack, and uh, some more rides. They can do Hyperspace Mountain, Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain, uh, Peter Pan. There's so many great rides that I wanna do today. Something I think that's pretty cool here is they actually have uh, wine and champagne and even beer that you can buy in Disneyland Paris and you can't do that anywhere else like you can buy them inside restaurants at other parks and sit inside the restaurants but you can just walk around with a, a Budweiser or a nice glass of uh, champagne in fact I might do that later I might get a little glass of champagne and hang out on Main Street USA and stare at the castle that sounds nice at the castle it's definitely a little unpredictable with the weather here. Kind of like Florida because I think it's rained three times so far and stopped raining and now it's beautiful. Like the sun's out and it only rains for like, it seems like it's only about 10, 20 minutes. 
now that we've gotten to, uh, uh, I think, almost all the rides in Frontierland. I think they just have Big Thunder Mountain and the Phantom Manor. I think we're going to start making our way over to Adventureland. They have the Indiana Jones roller coaster over there, Pirates of the Caribbean. Ooh, I forgot they have the new restaurant here, Casa di Coco. We're trying to decide on where we want to go eat. Last time I was here, I went to the Pirates of the Caribbean restaurant here, and it was pretty good, but I want to try something different. I also did Waltz, which was amazing, uh, but there's good selections. They have a, a character uh, dining meal that I was looking at, and uh, some of the restaurants outside of Disney Village aren't too bad. They have like a steakhouse, a little 50s diner. We'll find something good. This area, look at this. This is all what I was talking about. It's got so much theming in between the attractions. Little areas you can go sit down by the water. I love it. And this is just the uh, switch point. Like you're just going from Frontierland to Adventureland. Oh, coming in hot. Duck coming in hot. Disneyland Paris has uh, Discovery Land, not Tomorrowland, but I'm going to keep calling it Tomorrowland because it's just a force of habit, uh, and it's really cool because it's all like themed Jules Verne, and it's, it's got a really nice like theming to it, and uh, the Hyperspace Mountain is phenomenal, and that's probably going to be the last thing that we go to because we're starting in Frontierland, and we're just going to, like I said, do a little wrap around. Isn't that cool? I love it. And you can go play around in there, too. It's got like a little area that you can hang out, I think. I wouldn't mind hanging out there. Is this a beach? It reminds me of the Goonies. It does remind me of the Goonies. And then there's pirates. Want to go catch a tan later? Oh, yeah. We can, stay, we can sit on the beach in France. That'd be fancy. <laughs> the Premier Access is very, very nice. And I think this ride only costs 6 euros. That's like $5, right? Oh, it's five euros? It's like four dollars. Skip the line. That's crazy. This Pirates is way different than the other ones, too. I mean, it has some of the same scenes, but a couple different ones, too. Yee oh. Ah, 
I feel like the Pirates of the Caribbean here is like backwards compared to the other ones and I like it. Like usually in the beginning you see like the skeletons but you see the regular like pirates and then at the end you start seeing the skeletons and that's because the curse and I love it. The animatronics are fantastic. The double drop. How about that one drop? I forgot about it. I was like, Scotty, there's another drop here and it went down and a bunch of cannonballs shot off. Very, very cool. I was going to go ride the Indiana Jones uh, roller coaster, but it looks like we're going to be getting some rain here. Like I said before, it's been raining on and off, and uh, I think we got a reservation at the plaza, a little buffet. So we're going to cut through Fantasyland, but oh, I wonder if I should ride Peter Pan first. I don't know if we have time. We'll have to come back to Fantasyland. I think right now we want to dodge the rain and go get something to eat, and it's a little buffet. Here it is, Plaza Gardens Restaurant. And normally this is a character dining, but I don't think it's character dining for lunch. I think it's only character dining for dinner. Buffet, all you can eat. I wonder what they got on the menu here. Oh, well. Don't speak French. I don't know what that says, but it's 45 euro. Oh, wow, it's very nice in here. Oh. The character dining is only for breakfast and dinner, and then lunch, it's just a regular buffet. And I don't know if there's much of a price difference. I'm gonna have to ask, because it's 45 euro, uh, euros for uh, this one for the lunch, but I bet you for dinner, because the characters just gotta go up. Take a look at this buffet, and look at the desserts. They've got uh, carrot cakes here, hazelnut chocolate dessert right there. Oh, wow. I'm excited. This all looks absolutely amazing. And then they've got uh, the hot food section over here. You got salmon, you got risotto, you got sliced beef, crispy potatoes in the shape of Mickey's. Then you've got rack of piglet, almost veal. Then you got some rigatoni, some meatballs, some more potatoes over there. And then they have a carving station in the middle. Looks like uh, roasted free range chicken. Uh, some soup. Oh, pumpkin soup. I'm all for that. Nice little salad section here. Oh, I can't wait to make a plate. This looks like a lot of food. What you getting, Scotty? Some cucumbers and carrots. Ooh, you got some corn there? Yeah, sliced roast chicken too. Ah. Cherry and they're all cooking it up right back there. A lot of cheese. I wonder what they got in the carving station. Ooh, what's this? Oh, Mobile? Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah. I asked him about the character dining and if it was more expensive, and it's double. It's 80 euros for character dining. And I don't know if the menu changes, but look at it. I got a nice little plate, and I can't wait to try these little guys. Look at this. It's like Mickey Mouse tater tots. Here's first. Oh, boy, I love these. Oh, boy. I, wanna, I wanted to try a little bit of everything. And I, I got a little bit of everything. I got a heaping plate here. Got the little piglet here. And I got uh, the uh, chicken. I got the pasta, the beef, the vegetables. Of course, these little precious beauties. Oh, this one's ear fell off. I like it when they're very thin and crispy. Right? I'm going to eat these all day. Also, I want to point out there are no free refills like anywhere in France and even in Disney. Uh, so, like, even at the buffet, if you want an extra Coke, you got to pay for it. So, I'm going to kind of sip this very slowly like and I'm going to grab wine. some like a fine wine a fine Coke Zero <laughs> uh, I'm going to go pasta and potatoes now I'm happy we came here this is really good wow why is this chicken leg so long right it's a long chicken leg did you say must be a model? Yeah, or used to be a model. <laughs> like seriously, do we just have a bunch of short leg chickens in the, the States? Cool. Look, look at this one. This is like two legs right here. It's like the shack of chicken. Shack of chicken. Chicken shack. Chicken shack. Chicken shack. I decided to jump straight to dessert after eating my second plate. I got more tots and they're really, really good. Actually, the, the Mickey tots are my favorite thing on the menu. But I got a little bit of everything. Got a little uh, apple almond cake. Then they've got, uh, not cake, pie. And then they got a pecan pie. They've got a little like hazelnut tiramisu. This is a chocolate banana passion fruit square. Strawberry shortcake and a cream puff. 
Look at that. This actually all looks amazing. All right, I'm gonna try the apple almond cake. I forget, it started, it, I honestly thought it said it was like a Normandy cake. But I don't know, look at it. Ooh, why am I eating uh, the pie like it's like a little like- I mean, it looks like a sliced pizza. It does look like a pizza. You got a good, 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 good base Stop, there. Dive right in. Ooh, that is actually really good. Overall, I think the cream puff is my favorite. Then the banana chocolate uh, passion fruit, and then probably the strawberry shortcake. I mean, all of it is actually really, really good. It tastes like, it tastes different. It tastes like, like maybe different ingredients than what like normal buffet like food has. It has something special about it. I don't know. It's special. It's fancy stuff. Fancy stuff. Yeah, mosey on down to the strawberry shortcake. Next victim. Next victim. <laughs> don't mind if I do the Plaza Gardens buffet was really good and I love the convenience of it because uh, you pay before you eat so you just go in eat and then just get up and leave it's very fast and efficient a lot of the sit-down restaurants that you can go to you like kind of like unless you like plan to stay there for a bit but you waste a lot of precious time in the parks so I like to just eat and go and get back on some rides and now I think we're gonna go take uh, Scotty under the castle so I can show him the dragon I'm gonna, take you, I'm gonna go take Scotty under the castle. <laughs> it's officially stopped raining again. So far, it's been. It rained three times already, right? Yeah. Three times. Wow, but look at it. Isn't she beautiful? And I love how it's got the grassy knoll on the side there. And now we're gonna go down underneath it, come face to face dragon. with the dragon. I will say this forever, but. This castle is just so beautiful. Like inside, you get to go explore, you go underneath it. You have so much room for activities. But right here is the main event. Oh, he's moving. I'd be angry if I was trying to sleep and all these people were in here shining the lights on me, taking photos. I think we can go up here too. We can go actually from down, down in the dragon den up inside the castle. We got like a little staircase here. Look at this. I love how they have shops. Like this is all inside the castle. It just blows my mind. Oh. oh yeah. It's perfect that they have like glass blowing up here and crystals inside uh, the castle above the dragon. And then wait till you see it out here, watch. Look at this. Isn't it amazing? I love it. Straight back that way is fantasy land. And then this way to the front of the park. Ooh, that's bright. Yeah. My battery started to die on my camera, so I think we're gonna walk back to our hotel, take a little like uh, break, and then come back because the fireworks aren't until 11 o'clock tonight. So we got a long ways to go. Luckily for us, we're staying on property. We're at New pa uh, Newport Bay Beach Club. Newport Bay hey, hotel. Hotel, yeah, Newport Bay. It's kind of like a uh, yacht and beach club, and it's only about a 10-minute walk. We're definitely coming back and riding Hyperspace Mountain and most of the rides in Fantasyland because I love them. But we have enough time. Like it's it's kind of crazy how it stays so like daylight out for so long here. I think it gets dark around uh, nine o'clock, like nine p.m., ten p.m. It's starting to get sunset. So we have a long day, and I'm excited. Instead of making our way down Main Street USA, I want to show you the cool thing about Disneyland Paris because they have side exits, kind of like how a lot of the other parks have, but these ones are covered and they're uh, lined up with different shops. And it's really, really nice and actually takes a lot of fun because you uh, get out of the rain at least. 
there are two of these arcades, one on each side of Main Street, and like you're literally walking alongside Main Street USA, and these are like the back entrances to all the stores on Main Street USA, and you can go in and out of them. Like here's the big shop, and then they have the Emporium. It's so nice, right? And it's really good during the fireworks because it's like uh, more lanes for people to get out of the park, so it's not like a traffic jam. Disney Village is like their version of Disney Springs or Downtown Disney, but it's under a lot of construction at the moment. A lot of walls. It's Disney walls over here. Worse than Epcot. And Epcot, the walls are coming down soon. Oh, I can't even believe we're going to have a full Epcot soon. We are staying club level here at Newport Bay Club. It's called the Compass Club, and it includes a breakfast buffet every single morning. You get drinks, uh, unlimited drinks, and uh, I'm going to go up and show you guys the room, and then we're going to charge the batteries a little bit and uh, head back to the park. And I can't wait. The fireworks are at 11 p.m. tonight. The parks are open pretty late, uh, but I want to see if I can catch the drone show, too, because the drones are amazing here. And I haven't even seen the ones in Disney Springs yet because I've been over I've been over the pond over here in uh, London in Paris. We made it to our room and I want to give you guys a little room tour and show you around. This hotel has a lot of nice little touches to it that I love and some things that I'm like, oh, well, this might be a challenge. So first we'll start in the bathroom. We have a nice little area where you can hang up your clothes. They have a safe. A little bench right there and then they have the sink over here and I love these little toilet trees here look at this they got little Mickey tops on top there and uh, the bathroom is nice a very spacious tub nice little area you can sit down there behind the door is the uh, commode oh and we get bathrobes Disney's Newport Bay Club bathrobes and slippers they look so cool I actually want to wear one right now. And then uh, in here, we have uh, the bedroom and the TV. The bed is nice. It's got a little Mickey at the headboard there. And I love the pillows. A nice little vanity over here where you can sit and get ready. A coffee machine. Ooh, they even have cups with the uh, Newport Bay Club on it. Look at that. I like that. And then you have a TV right here. And... Uh, I think they have Disney on demand. Oh, yeah, they do. That's actually really cool. And the one thing that I'm a little kind of worried about, there's no AC. The AC does not work, they said, in the whole, the whole hotel. So uh, they brought me up a little fan. So at least I got something to keep me cool because it's not like cold outside. It's actually a really hot day and the windows only open up a little bit. But you can see it's kind of a nice little view. I like this. It's a very cozy uh, resort. It's really, really not that bad in the room. It's just that I live in Florida, so I'm used to AC and air condition like going nonstop 365 days a year. And they're very nice. Like I think the hospitality inside the like hotel is amazing. We're at the Compass Club and they have like concierge there and they're just trying to help every way. They brought the fan up and I like it. Overall, I like it. Now I think we're going to head back to the park. And oh, I wanted to point out something too that I didn't notice before. The carpet has a bunch of hidden Mickeys on it. I didn't notice it before, but it's a bunch of uh, little Mickey knots. Do you see them there? I like it. It's so cozy. I do like this room a lot. We made it back into the park, and since we came out of the Discovery Arcade, I think we'll go on the other side and make our way down Main Street through the other arcade. But I didn't show you this before, because when we walked in, it was super busy. You got City Hall over there. The Storybook store is really cool. The Emporium. It's almost like a lot of different parks combined. You know what I mean? The layouts. It's like a good mix. I kind of just want to head straight back to Fantasyland to get on some of the, the dark rides, like Peter Pan. This will be like my fourth Peter Pan. <laughs> like, isn't that insane? And then I think they have a Pinocchio here too. And I love that. I love the old rides. You know what I mean? The old dark rides that have that smell. It's just such a feeling whenever you go through like a rush of nostalgia. This one is called Liberty Arcade. I just love this. It's such a cool concept. Look at this. As soon as you walk in, this would be backstage areas uh, or uh, extra gates. Hi, how are you? This is just so cool. 
I really do love this. I feel like this is the one thing I wish all the parks had because this would be normally like backstage, like I said. Oh, and they actually have a Dapper Dan's barber shop here. Before we make it to any of the parks, I wanted to stop at the bake shop. They have the cable car bake shop here. And I just want to get a little sweet treat. A little, little sweet treat. Last year, they didn't, last time I came here, they didn't have the best of like selection, but I hear things are getting a little bit better. We got a Golden Gate cheesecake. I don't even know what this is. Carrot cake, oh, cable car carrot cake. Wow, that looks so good. Oh, and then there's those beignets, the Mickey beignets there. They filled them up with uh, different things. I know, look at that. Maybe I'll get a beignet, a Mickey beignet. I'm starting to think I actually had this Mickey beignet before, and I don't think I liked it as much, but I'm willing to try it again, and uh, maybe it got better. I, I think last time I got it, I just thought it was too dry, and if it's only it's Nutella on the inside, it still might be a little dry, so I better get something to drink. To go with my Mickey beignet, I think I'm gonna get myself a little champagne. 20 euros for a uh, collectible like, uh, champagne glass there. At least it says Disneyland on it. Souvenir flute. Yeah. A little bubbly blessed. Right on Main Street USA. Isn't that great? <laughs> it's amazing. I'm gonna have some champagne with the castle. Wash down your beignet. Wash down my beignet. <laughs> oh, they're popping bottles back there. Well, here it is. Cheers. I got the champagne and the Mickey beignet. Mickey beignets to all the dreamers. There ain't no Nutella in there. This is good. There's not a lot of Nutella in there. Yeah, it's like a... What's happening? It's a smidge. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it just tastes like a, a dry donut. I did have this last time, and I was like, wait, why wouldn't they put the Nutella in the ears? It's funny, because that's filled with as much Nutella as roast beef that you got at the Earl of Sam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> the, the Earl of Sandwich will never be forgotten. The champagne, though, this, this is fancy. I'm gonna take my champagne up to Peter Pan. I think we're gonna make our way right through the castle. Should we stop in and check on the dragon again? We could. <laughs> The dragon is all good, so now uh, off to Peter Pan. We're off to Neverland! Every time I say I'm going somewhere, I get distracted. Because look at this. Look at this gift shop right here. This is a merchandise location right next to the dragon. Look how beautiful it is in here. I have to say it. Disneyland Paris is the prettiest Disney park. It's so beautiful here. Look at down here. That is a... I'm shocked. I love it in here so much, actually. Look at this. We're still in the castle. I'm feeling a little bubbly blessed from that champagne. We got a little, <laughs> feeling a little bubbly blessed. Oh, there it is. Oh, 40 minute wait. Where's the premiere? Oh, premiere access over on this side. Whoop. Gotta go over here. Whoop. Thank you. These ships are actually uh, two-seaters. You have two rows in them. I never knew that. That's actually really amazing. Wow, look at that. Oh, we're gonna go sail away to Neverland. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Whoa! <laughs> I didn't expect a little I drop the there. I thought going down. Wow, this is great. This is such a great ride. <laughs> Whee! You're doing it, Peter? Oh! oh. I love that. I know. <laughs> oh, and look at the little mermaids over there. It's now raining again. That is uh, the fifth time it has started yeah. raining so far today Can't and then stopped only about 10 minutes honestly now I'm just getting used to it <laughs> we decided to make our way over to Snow White look at that that is so uh, this whole entire queue is awesome do you think those cobwebs are a part of the theming or do you think they're just cobwebs up there Wow. I was like, wow, Disney's immersive. <laughs> like, I, was, I was about to say, look at those cobwebs. They, they think of it all. scary but beautiful Snow White was so awesome it's almost like the one in Tokyo Disney I love the scary version of it but uh, you could see you that's why like you know they changed it over in Disneyland uh, if I was a kid I'd probably be afraid of it but that fear would grow to love and make me want to come visit Disney parks and you know basically base my life off of it <laughs> They have a little small world market here. Look at your crepes. Look at all this outside small world. Waffles over there. This is so nice. Oh, they got the brets over there too, man. Right there, they got the brets again. Oh, ooh. I would say let's ride It's a Small World, but I, I kind of want to see Tomorrowland why we still have this daylight, even though it's 9.30 at night here. It's 9.30, and look at this. Looks like it's mid-afternoon. All right. 
This is uh, this is getting to me here, man. The music, the castle, the sunset, the fact that it's almost 10 p.m. I, <laughs> I still can't get over this. What world are we living in right now? This literally is turning out to be like such a great day. Honestly, I'm having the best time ever, and we're making our way into Discoveryland. I said it right. <laughs> But we have officially made it to Discovery Land, and holy moly, look at this. Especially with the sunset happening right now. This is beautiful. This is what I would love to see Tomorrowland be like. I absolutely love this so much. I just found out Hyperspace Mountain is actually closed for refurbishment. I never even looked at the wait times because I have a premiere access, so I never looked to see how long the wait is. Man, oh boy. <laughs> it was so close. Look at it. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Oh. Are you playing Mr. Morrow? Yeah, hi, how are you? Oh, I don't even have a Nautilus here, so you can get in a Nautilus. And it doesn't, it's not the 20,000 leagues under the sea, but you can just be inside it. That's how, I'll be okay with that. Look at this. This is just, I, I feel like we should ride the Orbitron too, right? Look at that. That's a lot of spinning though. But it just looks so beautiful here. And the Autotopia, I feel like maybe we should do that too. I'm getting all excited about everything. <laughs> kid in the kid. Maybe Star Tours. Which way is that way? I don't know. I don't know. Which way is that way? <laughs> We're going to make our way probably into Star Tours. I wonder what's in Starport. Premier access. Oh, it's on the five minute wait, Scotty. <laughs> Get your glasses on. Ooh. I wear my sunglasses at night. I can hear Vader. <laughs> Tours was fun and I'm sad because Scotty really wanted to be the rebel spy or well, he wanted me to be the rebel spy and now I think we're gonna grab something to eat before we uh, have to get ready for the fireworks show and the drone show the drone show is like 15 minutes before the fireworks show so we want to get a good spot I think we decided on some Casey's we're gonna have a Casey's dog what a traditional thing huh and we're gonna watch fireworks probably from right here what a view huh look at this Honestly, I feel like I'm at like a circle drive-in with that hot dog in the bag like that and the french fries in the bag and the chicken nuggets. Oh yeah, we just go outside here. We're bringing Epcot to Disneyland Paris, eating on a trash can, but the view is so beautiful. Look at that. Wow, what a sunset. Tonight's fireworks and drone show is going to be amazing. Now I want to dive into these little french fries. Oh, the fries are good. They're very good. Very good. Look at us. Just hanging out in a trash can, yeah. eating a hot dog in Paris. Ooh, look at that beefy thing. Lots of bread on that dog. Honestly, the french fries are amazing though. I don't know what, maybe I'm just really hungry. Yeah. It's crazy to think there's a foot long hot dog in my stomach right now, but I'm feeling pretty good. And any second now the drone show, so, uh, the drone show is gonna start. Scotty's first time seeing it. And look at, we got Coca-Colas. Look, look at the cups they give you. Wow, look at that sunset happening. And the, the drone show is Electrical Sky Parade, kind of like the old uh, electrical, uh, uh, Main Street Electrical Parade. So I'm excited to see what they actually, I've seen videos, but I haven't seen the full show. 
Yeah. Today, the parade returns.
Mouse is there saying goodbye to everyone. Wow, what a show! Let's see if he'll wave at me. Let's see if he'll wave at me. Mickey! Right here! <laughs> wow, I feel like a big kid right now. <laughs> and with that, we are done here today. I can tell you what, standing on Main Street for like that last 30 minutes really killed my dog. My dogs are barking actually. And I think we're gonna make our way back to Newport Bay, but what a great day. Honestly, I love the drone show. I think I like the drone show more than the fireworks. You know what I mean? I don't know what their restrictions are, but it looks like they can't have the big fireworks, just the ones that project like behind the castle. But anyways, I had a great day. And tomorrow we're gonna continue it. Hopefully if the rain holds off, because like I said, it was raining like five times today, but tomorrow's supposed to be worse. So as long as we can make it, we're going to head over to Walt Disney Studios and check out Avengers Campus. They have a new Alice in Wonderland uh, like kind of maze and a lot of other good things. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Bye.